What's up Cubers, my name is Kenneth. Today I wanna to show you guys some stuff I 3D printed for Halloween. So as you can see, I've got lots of pumpkins here. I'm gonna show you all of them. I'm gonna start with the ones with Rubik's Cubes carved into them. I'm gonna show you guys my designs and then show you guys how you can also carve your own cube pumpkins. So I really wanted to carve a Rubik's Cube into a pumpkin in 3D and have it 3D printed. And so I actually found this model of a pumpkin that looked kind of realistic. It has like uh, some skin and it's got bumps in it. I decided to use this one and then I came up with this design of a Rubik's Cube. I kind of just drew it out and then I cut out these pieces and I made sure to like not cut out uh, the corners all the way so that way it would kind of give it a, the appearance of like a checkerboard pattern so I did that and I was pretty pleased with it I thought it, it it looked pretty good but I didn't really like the pumpkin that much because although the skin looks real the thing is almost completely symmetrical and it's got a flat bottom and it doesn't to me look like a real pumpkin so I really wanted to do better so the next thing I did was I found this really nice model of a pumpkin this is actually a 3d scan of a pumpkin It is a great model to me this looks like a real organic pumpkin and so i used this uh, to be kind of my canvas and before i could actually carve the rubik's cube into this pumpkin first i had to like hollow out the model because the model was just a single scan there there was no difference between the stem and the rest of the model so first i had to hollow out the center then i had to kind of cut the stem off and that way i could make the stem uh, a different kind of material and then I had to like cut out the cap so that it would look like this so I did all this work and that gave me the base for like a, a jack-o-lantern I could then carve into this and make it look like a pumpkin so this was a lot of work by itself and once I had done this I actually put this on Thingiverse so other people can also use this model and um, and and make whatever jack-o-lantern they want so once I had done that then I wanted to kind of make this so I wanted to make this like actual Rubik's Cube pumpkin and to do that instead of just like drawing out the Rubik's Cube by like memory of what a Rubik's Cube looks like I actually took a picture of a Rubik's Cube just me holding it and then I uh, used that photo to outline all the stickers that way I could make sure I got a really kind of like photo realistic image of a Rubik's Cube once I had done that, then I cut out all the pieces and I actually cut out the edges all the way through and the centers and corners not quite all the way through. That way it give the illusion of like a checkerboard pattern. Then I printed it out and the print took forever. It was a 60 hour print, the longest print I had ever done. The stem I actually printed in a kind of with this wood PLA and I really like the way it looks. It looks really organic. It looks real, it looks great. In the house and I've got this candle on it I've got this fake candle in it and it lights it up really great so I'm really pleased with it I think it turned out great so once I was done with the first pumpkin I really wanted to make a second one with this kind of pattern so I did the same thing with this pattern I took a picture of me holding a Rubik's Cube that was like slightly twisted and then I traced out all the stickers and I got this really cool pattern and I put it right into my pumpkin I actually gave it a different kind of cap because uh, the other one was small, it was hard to get big candles in. So this one I can get like a, a larger candle in. So now that I went through all the work to kind of make these designs, I thought, hey, maybe I can use this as a template for a real pumpkin. And that's actually what I did. So I made a template, printed it out, and I put it on a real pumpkin, and I carved out uh, my actual design. And here it is in real life. It's the best kind of Rubik's Cube jack o lantern I've ever done. I've done a bunch of them, and in the past I've always kind of just eyeballed it. Um, but this one I used the, the template that I came up with and it's by far the best one I'd ever done So I'm really excited about it and I thought hey now that I've made a template you guys can use my templates too So I've uploaded them and put them uh, in the description So if you want to make your own kind of Rubik's Cube jack-o-lantern definitely print out my template try give it a try And if you do it take a picture of it send it to me on Instagram I'd love to take a look uh, and I hope you guys really enjoy that. So anyway, those are my Rubik's Cube carved pumpkins. And now I want to show you guys my Rubik's Cube pumpkin, if that makes sense. So basically it started with this one. This is a, a model I found on Thingiverse by Makey's. And it's a great model. I think it was actually featured by Thingiverse. And I decided when I saw it, I could turn that into a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. So what I did was I got a 2x2 two two next to me. It was a 55 millimeter 2x2. Two and I decided to turn that into this like model here that you see here. 
So I, uh, I had to first fill the model so that the model was like filled so that the eyeballs weren't, you couldn't, you know, go through it. And then I cut the model and all the axes. I had to round the edges here so that the puzzle could turn pretty nicely. And you can see here's a really cool kind of two by two jack-o-lantern and I really like it and it turns actually pretty decently. So as you can see, I painted it and uh, the paint quality is not, honestly not that great. I'm not a very good artist. Uh, I'm probably got the quality of a second grader. Um, you can see I didn't do a really good job on the edges. So here you can see me scrambling it up. I think it looks really cool all messed up. It's a scrambled jack-o-lantern. And uh, yeah, let me see if I can solve it. So ready, set, and go. So I guess I should do the face first. Wow, that was hard. So here's the face. Now I gotta do the back. I'm all confused. There we go. So I solved my jack-o-lantern two by two. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think it turned out great. I'll put the files to all of this stuff on Thingiverse. So if you have a 3D printer, you could try printing any of these things. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely take a picture of your jack-o-lantern if you guys cut a Rubik's Cube. Also, I will be trying out the Premiere function on YouTube for the first time. Really excited about that. I usually post my videos Sunday mornings, 8 a.m. Pacific time. So I think I'll try doing it then that's that's when the video will premiere and it's really kind of cool you guys can watch live the video with everyone else at 8 a.m everyone starts at the same time there'll be a live chat and i'll be joining the chat as well and be chatting with you guys as it comes out so anyway i hope you guys enjoy that if you're on at 8 a.m hey guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh yeah thanks thanks a lot thanks for doing all the things you do liking commenting uh, uh and if you're early obviously say hi everyone in the comments on the premiere probably just said hi and that's it guys thanks for watching and of course have a great day